What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix the Steam missing files privileges error which is happening whenever you're trying to play the game on your Steam and how you can fix this app. So we directly get into the step one by one. So the first step is all about we just need to go over here in the Steam, open the Steam like this and what we need to do is we just need to go over here at the top, click on the Steam and directly navigate to settings. And right now what we need to just go over here in the downloads and what we need to do is all you can directly go over here in the storage and right now as you can see we have three dot menu over here click on this one and we have options like this browse folder repair library rename the library so just go for repair library and you have to go for the s right now once the repaired library is successfully done what we need to do is we just need to check whether the issue is solved or not most probably if it's not working to not put it we have to mention the next step next step is all about we just know go over here either you can search over here for the task manager like this and you can navigate to the task manager or you can directly go over here the start right click and go to the task manager over here and you can just expand this up and right now what we need to do is we just need to check whether the steam is running over here if you find the steam running right click over here and go for end the task similarly what we need to do is if you also find the game that which you are having the issue for example whatever the game it is also running over here in the background just remove it as well or you can directly search for the steam here like this you can search for the steam and if you find it remove it as well now we need to close this and move to the next step next step is all about we just need to go over here to the steam once again we just need to navigate to the steam and we need to launch the steam once again and right now in the steam we need to do one important process called verify game file so this particular issue can happen with when the games is going through some kind of uh, issue with the files and if they're going through what you have to say it's some kind of issue and all these things can be causing the issue so what we need to do is we just need to go over here directly go to the library and the first and foremost step for example if you are facing the issue with the atom for the game for example what i'm trying to say for so guys what we need to do is just go to the game which are having the issue go to the properties and now from here what we need to do is we just need to uh, what we need to do is we just need to right click on the game and we need to go to the properties and make sure that you enable or you verify the game file. So once it is done for the verify game file right click go to the properties. Now from here if you go to the game right click and go to the properties. Now go over here and install that file and just go for the word go for the verify integrity of game file which is going to take a lot of time. So once it's gone done with this one, it will be cross checking whether you're going through any kind of issue with the files or not. And once afterwards most probably they're going to help you guys out. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to navigate to the next step. That is all about we need to directly go to the file explorer. Now from here go to this PC and we have to navigate to local disk C and go to the program file x86. Now from here into the program file x86 we have to scroll down and navigate to the steam. We have the folder called steam. Open the steam and we have to navigate to steam. Just open the steam. Now go to steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here what we need to do is if you are having any kind of or games for example what i have to say for example if you're having any kind of game sheet so i don't have any games yet so i'll show with another example so most of my games that i install are d so go to d now from here we have to go to steam library go to steam amps go to common now these are some of my games which i just usually use to play so what i'm going to do is after this now what we need to do is i just need to select the game which i'm having the issue for example if i'm having the issue with the atom fault then i have to right click on this one and i need to go over here into the properties now from here what i need to do is once i get into the properties directly go to the security and make sure that you have given full control over here so there should not be any kind of issue saying denied we should be giving full control for the modify read and execute list and folder contents read write etc and if you're having any deny option just you can change it just click on the advance it and make sure that you have given all the controls here so that is really important so you have to cross check it and also once afterwards what we need to do is we just need to go over here close this up we need to close this once again go to the file explorer now from here navigate to this pc and we have to go to local this c now from here go to program file x86 now scroll down and navigate to steam now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to steam exe so this is the steam exe so we need to select the steam exe right click Go to show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility. Make sure that you put a check on disable full screen optimization should be done. And also run this program as administrator should be done. Now go for apply and we have to go for okay. And once it is done, we just need to close this and we need to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we just need to go back to the Steam and now just go over here at the top, right click on the Steam and directly go to the settings. Now from here, go to downloads. 
right now if you scroll down you can see we have options called clear download cache just click on this one so they might ask you to go for yes so we have to go for this and this might be giving like a fresh free start for the steam and also you, you you need to lock in back to the steam so once the login back is done you have to check Apparently, you need to check whether it is your download region. For example, I'm not, uh, this is by default somehow changed into India by new. So I have to select where it is really close to me. For example, I have to select the geography which is very close to me, or I have to select the geography where I'm right now. So I have to select it according to my geography. And sometimes, you know, this might even end up in, in the wrong location. So make sure that you have selected the current correct one. So we just need to scroll down and make sure we uh, over here what it is over here you have to select the right one so once you select the right one over here and once it has been successfully done to your current location or if you're not going through any kind of issue with all these things you have to make sure that you're in the correct one and once after it is correct one you can just need to close this up and you have to check next one is all about we need to add the steam to windows security so just go over here search for the control panel and we need to click on this one and right now we need to go to system and security windows defender firewall for foot alone app for it's windows defender firewall and we need to add the steam here so what we need to do is first we need to know where is the location of the steam in order to use and it easily so right click over here directly go to open file location so right now it says over here at the top you can see it is local this program file x86 so just click on this just copy this path of the game close this and we need to go back now we need to click on change setting and go to allow another app now we need to click on the browse and we need to go over here just by click and close this and what we need to do is we just need to paste this and we need to press enter and right now what we need to do is we just need to scroll down and we need to select this one and we need to open and we need to add it so make sure it is already added so if it is already added if the steam is already there then most probably you'll be getting the error so make sure the steam is added then you put the check on both the boxes private and public that's an important one now we need to close this and move to the next one add or remove program sometimes you know steam might be causing a lot of trouble so we just need to go over here search for the steam like this and if you find the steam go with three dot menu and go for uninstall and once the uninstall is done we just need to reinstall it back and that's all you have to try Last and the least step, you have to press Windows and R key together so you'll be getting this particular box. Type percentage local app beta percentage and go for OK. And right now, we need to scroll down over here. And once you find Steam, right click over here and directly go for the trash icon and remove it. What's afterwards most probably not be having the issue. And I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.